Hello everybody, I'm back again here at this uh, lovely table and today we're going to be doing a unboxing slash review of this, the uh, Retron 5 3 in 1 adapter. This is for Game Gear, Master System, and the Master System Hue cards. Uh, I was going to say it's there's not a whole lot here. We've already reviewed the Retron 5, so this should be a relatively quick video compared to that. So, you know, it just shows the, the three there. You can kind of see there. Uh, let's see. Presenting the newest addition to the Ultimate HD remake. The Retron 5 3 in 1 adapter for Game Gear Master System and Master System card. Wow. Uh... Yeah, I mean, there's not really much, 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 I can't speak much, uh, not really much to this. I will say, let's set it on here somewhere, where is it, yeah, right here. So, must be using firmware version 3.5 or above, and I'm pretty sure I've already done that, so it should just work, but if you haven't done it, you'll need to, so... The games we're going to be reviewing with this is going to be Streets of Rage. Gotta have Streets of Rage in your life. See, it's right there. I'm not lying. Got that. We got Maze Hunter 3D. If I can get it open. There we go. And for the card, the only one I was able to find, this one. It's got a little schmutz on it. That's nice. Nothing quite like schmutz, but, uh, yeah, 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 we'll be playing the F-16 Fighting Falcon. Put that back. All right, let's get to unboxing this. Let's see, we got some tape. So this has been in, this has been in store for a while. It's just it just kind of sits it's a little expensive it's like sixty dollars but that's whatever come on tape come on tape i just need you to come on yeah i almost got it maybe you know what this sounds like a nice job for my hawk bill I'll skin it. Now remember, whenever you're playing with knobs, don't be playing with knobs. <laughs> Get this open. Come on now. All right, it's a little bigger than I expected. Uh, it's not nothing else in there. See? Dang! I was not expecting this but whatever as long as it works so looks like that's where game gear goes master system and then the hue card on the side it's really this is literally all it's in that box which i guess everything else you need will be in the retron 5 but very interesting so i guess we'll do a quick little uh jump cut and uh test this sucker out see you after the jump cut all right and we're back so i guess what we'll try and do is uh we'll try and do the uh the card first the sega card we'll play the f-16 fighting falcon that's what we'll play first do -do -do -do. Got the card right here. And I'm not really sure which way to plug this in. Well, one way to find out. Alright, so not that way. Let's try this way then. There we go. Oh, that worked pretty easy. I should also mention that it just plugs into the Genesis part. 
of the Retron 5. So, pretty, pretty simple. So I guess let's go ahead and fire it up. Mmm. Okay. Well, I thought that would have been the... So that's the start button. We'll just play level one because uh, I have no idea how this game's supposed to play. I feel so sorry for people who play this game. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Come on. Yeah, I'm uh, having a fever dream playing this, so, uh. It works! <laughs> Whether or not uh, the game works itself as uh, as you know as it's supposed to be fun, uh, I don't know about that. But it looks, I mean, it looks and runs fine. I'd imagine. I've never really played any of the Master System card games. Uh, but this one I do not like. So, uh, we will return to the main menu. And then we will switch it off. Get rid of that. Get, get this out of my face. We'll toss that right there. Put it back in where it needs to be. But yeah. So that works pretty well. Let's try out Maze Hunter 3D. A 3D cartridge. You've never seen 3D cartridges before. Right here it is. All 3D, baby. So let's uh, try it out. Let's see if it works. I feel like I'm going to break it. Hey, this is working pretty well. All right. Just jump straight into it. Okay. So let's jump. Oh. Hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll keep trying. I'll see what I can do here. Come on. I got it this time. Or not. I think the issue is me, because I keep pressing the wrong buttons. I, I believe in myself. Just gotta get the... Gotta get this. Okay, so that's attack. Haha. -ha. I mean, it's it's looking pretty nice. Like I'm just in general, I think it looks really good. Oh, I can't hit three. Oh no. Haha. -ha. It thought it was going to kill me. I guess that's nothing. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just going to... Yeah. I think that's uh, going to be the end of that. So we'll just go back to main menu.
Maybe. Please. There we go. Now. Now to see if it's really in there. Jeez. Now for probably the only good game we're going to play today. Streets of Rage. For the game gear. If I can get it out of the package. There we go. So how does this fit in there? I'm guessing like so. Yeah. Let's give it a go. It's made by Sega, in case you guys didn't know. I can barely hear it. Oh, there's an old man walking in front of the, my window. That's nice. Okay. Well, I thought that was return to game. Just me. I'll be Axel. Okay. I mean, Streets of Rage. 8 bit Streets of Rage. I'm guessing they don't have the cool special moves. Alright. I can get down to this. I'm trying. I, I don't want to grab you. I just want to punch. I, I like the 8 bit rendition of the music, it's cool. Yeah, I'm trying to go. I just keep punch. I just keep doing. Why? What do I have to do? Uh, there we go. I mean, it's it's running just fine. Oh, I got punched. All right. I mean, I'm pretty impressed with it. So, let's just go back to the main menu, and then I'll return with my final thoughts on the matter. Alright, welcome to the closing thoughts, the final thoughts. It's pretty good. I mean, it's exactly what it is. It does exactly as it says it's going to do. Uh... I mean, the games, I mean, they're not going to look the best, but, uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty good. It's just where they're old games. They're, they're looking really good for what they are, is what I really, what I meant to say. It's just, the games themselves are, uh, they don't hold up well. So, uh, except for Streets of Rage, it's Streets of Rage. It plays like Streets of Rage. So, I mean, overall, it does what it's going to do. Uh, I give it, like, probably what the same similar score what I gave the Retron 5. I, I'd, I'd give it about a, an 8 or 9 out of 10, something like that. It's pretty nice for what it is. It's a little expensive, so we'll say 8. But it does exactly what it says it was going to do. So I think 8's a fair score. Uh, it works flawlessly. The reason why I'm giving it an 8 is because it's a little expensive. It's like $60. But, uh, I mean, but it works no problem. So if you're in the market for something like this, uh, if you have the spare cash, I mean, might as well pick it up. So... 
that will be it for this review. I thought, but then I remembered. Some of you all might might have gotten curious as to what have happened, what has happened to Bob, the dead fly that was in the box. So uh, he's still there, and he will remain there for all eternity. He will never leave that box. That box is his tomb, and he's he's living living large, living large dead. But uh. But aside from that, that's uh, going to be the end of the video. Have a great rest of your days.